Hi, and welcome to Cons Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about the difference between network operating system and distributed operating system. So, here we will talk about the difference between network operating system and distributed operating system, and we are going to be using these basics. That is, we are going to use the following basics to compare between network operating system and distributed operating system. So we are going to be looking at the basics, the objective, communication basics, implementation, scalability, operating system use, level of transparency, rate of autonomy, and of course, resource management. So let's get right into it. So here we have our table, which uh, the first on the first column we have the basics, the second we have network operating system, and the third we have the distributed operating system. So let's start with the first. The first will be on the basics of objective. So for objective, we see that in the network operating system, the main objective is to provide the local service to remote clients. Why? In a distributed operating system, the main objective is to manage the hardware resource. So we see here that in a network operating system, its main objective is to provide local service to remote clients, since each client has a separate node and separate CPU. So the main objective is to provide local services to remote clients. Why in a distributed system, we know that each client has his or her own node but they all use the same hardware resource so the main objective here in the distributed system is to manage the hardware resource the second is on the basis of communication in a network operating system communication is file based why in a distributed operating system communication is message based or shared memory based when we talk about file based communication we talk about communication via files downloadable files sharing files and so on while message based or shared memory based is common in the distributed operating system since the hardware since the, the nodes share a common cpu and a common hardware resource so their communication is message based next will be on the basics of implementation network operating system are easy to build and maintain while distributed operating system implementation is difficult so we see here that the network operating system is fairly easy to build and maintain than the distributed operating system our next basis will be scalability under scalability we see that a network operating system is highly scalable this is due to the fact that a new machine can be added very easily to a network operating system but on the other hand in a distributed operating system it is less scalable this is because the process of adding a new hardware in a distributed operating system is complex so here a new machine can easily be added in a network operating system making it to be highly scalable why the process of adding a new hardware in a distributed operating system is slower sweet, and more complex which makes it less scalable our next basis of comparison will be the operating system used in a network operating system different operating systems can be used by the various nodes in this network a one machine can use Linux another machine can use the Mac OS another machine can use Windows just like our personal PCs and laptops each of our PCs might have different operating systems but yet we can still connect to a single network while in the distributed operating system all the nodes have the same copy of the operating system this is due to the fact that they all the nodes in this system share the same hardware resource and the same system so all the nodes in the distributed operating system have a copy of the same operating system while in the network operating system they use 
the nodes, the computers can use different operating systems. The next basis is level of transparency. In a network operating system, there is a low level of transparency, while in a distributed operating system, there is a high level of transparency. When we talk about transparency, we are talking about the access to resources pertaining to a certain system. In a network operating system, there is low transparency due to the fact that each user has his, his or her own privacy since they have, they have their separate resources on their computer. While in a distributed system, there is, less trans there is a high level of transparency due to the fact that all the nodes share the same hardware resource, the same CPU, so processes can easily be shared with, one, with each of the computers. Processes can easily be shared among the computers. Next, the rate of autonomy. The rate of autonomy in a network operating system is high, while the rate of autonomy in a distributed operating system is less. This is due to the fact that in a network operating system, when we talk about the rate of autonomy, we are talking about the, uh, the possibility of each computer to act on its own. So in a network operating system, the rate of autonomy is high, which means there is a high chance of each of the computers to act on their own. In a network operating system, each of the computers can act on their own. Why? The rate of autonomy in a distributed system is less since the, comp since the nodes in the distributed system all share the same hardware resource. The rate of autonomy is less because they will need to perform activities related to what has been uh, to the what has been given to the CPU. Next, the basis of resource management. In a network operating system, resource management is handled at each node, while in a distributed operating system, resource management is global. So we see here that in the network operating system, resource management is handled by each node since the nodes are separate while resource management in a distributed operating system is global since they all share the same hardware resource so this is the end thank you very much for watching and as usual i will see you in the next video thank you